Hi, welcome to Noswear. In the previous project, we have created a shopping recipe using Visual Basic.net and using Visual Studio IDE. And in the previous project, we have created the logo on our recipes. Now, in this video, we will show you how to create the header for item in here. And after that, we separate the price in the original price and the total. The total is get from price multiply with quantity here, if you can see. And how to do that? Let's open our previous project first. And this is our latest project on creating shopping recipe. As we know, there is the tiles in header. Also, the price is just one. And in here, we will try to separate the original price and the total price. Go to your code in here. And the first times, you need to go to the line after date and time. If you can see, date and time is appear uh, before the line in here. We create the, the tiles below on the date and time. So we find the line uh, for date and time in here. This is for date and time. We can copy this because we need uh, to create for header. Copy this until 4 and the first. Uh, column for the header is quantity and the second is item and and the third is price and the four is uh, the total and it's better you create the description before your script in here uh, Okay, header details, header details, to easy understand uh, your code, of course. Header details in here, and then uh, after we creating for the text, we change the position in here. I change uh, to one hundred ten below. 95 in here because this is one line we can paste all uh, 110 and this is a uh, margin or rinse from left rinse from left is for quantity is zero and the item is 25 for example and for the price is 180 and the last, we don't using uh, the exact number, but we are using right margin. Okay, let's see uh, the header first. Quantity, item, price, and total price. Okay, not appear for total because. Uh, we don't include right in here so uh, it's aligned right let's see again now it's enough here and for the line uh, because this is uh, too small the range 110 until 115 I need to make this 100, 120 like this and see the chains again okay i think it's enough then uh, we need to code for uh, the price and the total price as you can see actually in the our previous project for e.graphics.drawstrings this is for original price so for total price we can uh, copy this we copy this first to prevent 
loss of the data okay we can uh, comment this first okay in here uh, we add or we change uh, the values from the left in here I change to 180 plus hit and using right line but in here is not uh, using right margin like this and this is uh, for price and the total price let's uh, take this total price this is declare total price as long because uh, usually the money have uh, much digits we can describe as long in here and why this is error let's try to find f10 press uh, black in here and then okay uh, this is 180 you mean and this is like this okay and total price total price is uh, equal to values of a uh, data grid view okay of course or data grid view this we can uh, copy data grid view okay the value uh, between data grid view the quantity and the original price and this is one and this is two okay change this to one then uh, we can uncomment this okay because the format is using this and change this uh, to total price this is to total price okay total price dot to string but using uh, this format okay we can add in here for string and using right margin yes and in here uh, we are using uh, 115 plus uh, hits and then right okay let's try to run our project coffee and the quantity is one and the t two in here and let's take uh, another values okay uh, this is is right but uh, we think the font is too big so we can change the font for the values in the data grid view item using font size 8 in here okay font size 8 and then this is uh, font size 8 and then uh, we can also make the position for the title and the values in here is same so this is 0 25 180 0 25 180 and the last is right margin 110 okay then using right okay like that let's try to run okay that's new transaction This is 40. Let's take this. 
okay the problem is on the price let's see the error where is the error okay mm, we can change this is uh, okay right margin 110 and position is on the right and for the total price is right margin also this is 115 plus hit and on the right okay okay let's uh, add the values this is 115 Oh, why this uh, error? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we false in here. Why the total is on below? Red margin in here. Then if 110, okay, right. Oh, sorry, uh, we don't change in here, guys, because the problem is in the price. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In here, this is on the right position. I mistake. The problem is not total, but on the price. Let's see again. This is coffee, and the quantity is one. I need more focus in here okay uh, I think it's enough and for the price is 115 okay let's uh, add some values in here is uh, sugar And this is guys uh, for creating the header items and we also change the font size in here and separate the price and the total to easily understand for our customer archive. Hope this video helpfully for you. In the next, still in here or still in this project, we will try uh, to add barcode mm, of course barcode of invoice id so if on your store is there is barcode scanner you can using that rather than you type manually for invoice id hope this video helpful for you